The murder investigation of deceased rapper Oglock oh, has concluded gee, and it has been ruled out as a gang initiation gone wrong by private investigators who at this time would like to remain anonymous. However, first responder Officer Frank Tenpenny has finally released his statement today. My name is Officer Frank Tenpenny and I'm the first responder to the murder of Jeffrey Cross who was better known as Oglock. This isn't the first time hoodlums carried out a crime in Las Ventures. Motherfucker always me, trying to keep a player down. Me and my partner officer, Eddie Pulaski, were off duty buying burgers when I heard the shots. These crimes happen when you least expect them. And no, I don't put mayonnaise on my burgers. That shit is disgusting. And financial yeah, for needs, sure. the stock market. The traffic was exhausted. What? The storm is crazy. Yeah. I almost drove into a billboard. Hold it right there, homie. Lord have mercy on me. But I have a way of taking advantage of such a situation. For real? We can discuss it outside right now. That's a good idea. I'll be outside. No, you stay in here. Why? Because you are retarded. <laughs> hey! Listen, I think today is the right day to hit the federal building for the architectural plans. What's the problem? Well, it is a federal building. Well, I'm okay with that. The plans are on the third floor. Man, I ain't even strapped. Remember, you are a helmet inspection officer. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Who are you? Uh, a helmet inspection officer. Proceed. That's my magic thing. What the fuck are you doing there, dickhead? What the fuck? I don't want a nice stick up the ass. Stay the fuck away from me. Go, go. I threw it all away. Okay, I had the power, the money, the ladies, but I couldn't lay off the blow. So I went into rehab, and everything went to shit, but so what? Are you fucking stupid? If my boss finds out that you are a junkie, he will give you a pat on the back. But if your old man finds out, if he finds out that you have become an embarrassment to yourself like this, a fucking junkie piece of shit who needs help from Liberty City to run this casino, the casino that he put up half the money to build, he will have you whacked and go to war with us for sticking our beak in. And did I mention my boss Salvatore will make me sleep with the fishes for not solving the fucking drug problem and preventing a war? I'm really screwed. What if you went back to a rehabilitation center? <sighs> Alright, the cash room is on the bottom level. There's a bunch of rooms and a tunnel under the whole building with access to the casino floors at either end of the complex. Now, security consists of CCTV, a key code access, and in places, a swipe card. You forgot to mention shutting down the city power source. Oh. The Caligula's casino armored money truck, the explosives, the uniforms for infiltration, and finally, the cop bikes to escort the truck out without the cops getting wise. Okay. Are you sure you can trust your partner for this? We both served in the military together. We smuggle more dope over there than you think. This isn't a drug operation, Frank. The score is in a week. Your cut will be five points each. Now listen to this carefully. A big investigation will be made, and you will make sure there is negligence. The faster the investigation runs, the faster we can all start spending the money. And if it goes federal, then what? You are on a strict need to no basis for now. What if we launder the money through detective books? 
look, you are going to be a clean toilet seat by the end of the week. What else could you ask for anyway? Thanks, I'm just so tired of all this life and death bullshit! I will see what I can do. Smoke! Man, where the hell are everybody anyway? Tony, 